Okay, here are a few examples of how to solve uh, these equations that seem to be getting longer and uh, more difficult. And uh, that's going to be the trend for a while. Longer equations, more difficult equations. Uh, however, keep in mind the strategy when solving equations is to, uh, number one, you want to use opposites. And number two, you want to keep your equation by doing the exact same manipulation to both sides, whether it's adding the same number, subtracting the same number, multiplying or dividing by the same number, uh, or variable. Uh, you need to keep your equation. Okay, here's an equation from page 100, problem number 36. Uh, to solve this equation, look inside the brackets first. And inside the brackets, we can see that there's a group of parentheses. And the parentheses right here is P plus 5. And that is being multiplied by a negative 4. So when we go to use the distributive property, we have to use that negative 4, not a positive 4. So it becomes 5 times 2p minus 4p minus 20 equals 25. Now, when you're inside the brackets, there's a little bit of simplifying that can be done. The 2p minus the 4p, that part right there simplifies to negative 2p. So we have 5 times negative 2p minus 20 equals 25. Now we're ready to use the distributive property. Everything inside of the brackets gets multiplied by what is outside. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10p. 5 times 20 is 100. Now we continue to solve. We can add 100 to both sides. We get negative 10p equals 125. Divide both sides by negative 10. And p equals negative 12.5. And that's the solution. OK, here is another problem from page 100. It is number 30. And this problem looks scary because it has all of these fractions in it. We have 1 12th, that's a scary fraction, plus 3 8 y, that's a scary fraction, equals 5 12 another scary fraction, plus 5 8 y, another scary fraction. Fractions do think, make things a little more complicated. So the strategy that I always employ whenever I see fractions and equations like this is I try to multiply every term by the common denominator. So when I take a look at the denominators, the denominators are 12 and 8. Common denominator for 12 and 8 is 24. So I'm going to multiply every term by 24. And this is what you get. Let's see. 24 times 1 is 24. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 24 times 3. That's a big number. <laughs> Not really. I think it's 72. 72. 72 divided by 24. I'm sorry. 72 divided by 8 is 9. Let's see, um, 24 times 5, that's 120 
divided by 12 is 10. And 24 times 5 is 120 again, divided by 8 is 15. So you can see going from step 1 to step 2, after multiplying by the common denominator, all the fractions are gone. So in my opinion, it makes the problem a lot easier. So then the next step is to get the y. As you can see, you have some y's on both sides of the equation. So what I'm going to do next is minus 9y. And I get 2 equals 10 plus 6y. Divide, or nope, minus both sides by 10. And you get negative 8 equals 6y. Divide both sides by 6, and you get the final answer, y is negative 4 thirds. thing that makes equation solving a little tricky is that there are lots of different ways that one equation can be solved. So that does make it a little bit difficult. Even though you may work out the problem differently and get the right answer, you probably did it right, even though it's different. And you know, that's what makes it hard. All right, here's another problem. This is number 34 from the same page, 100. Something you might notice is that in this problem, there are decimals. And before you start doing any solving, what I would do is I would study the decimals for a minute. And if you notice, every term has a decimal that's in the tenths place. One strategy that you can use to eliminate the decimal, which may make the equation a little easier to solve, is to multiply every term so that the decimals um, go away. So in this problem, if I multiply everything by 10, again, using the distributive property, if I multiply every term by 10, it's all right, so let's go ahead and multiply. This is going to be 142t minus 252 equals 38t plus 268. Let's see, uh, you can minus 38t from both sides of this equation. And you get 104t minus 252 equals 268. Add 252 to both sides, and you get 104t equals, let's see, uh, 12, 520. Divide both sides by 104. And you get t equals 5.